Hey guys, so I have recently started using plain text more and more in my day-to-day -day workflow. I've started using plain text in emails, I've started using plain text in word processing, and I've started using plain text effectively wherever I have the option to do so. Uh, editing code on websites rather than using any kind of built-in editor, all that kind of stuff. And it's a habit which has been forming somewhat consciously for, for quite some time now. It started off when it came just to, to, to editing uh, HTML code. I manage a fair number of websites and um, each with their own CMS, their own way of inputting text, of inputting you know style elements and all that kind of stuff. And it's incredibly easy just to be able to put in the in, in the code and know that the, the you know what you put in is what's going to be displayed up on the screen and and that's my sort of de facto way for for editing or contributing to websites and i think a lot of um web developers and and people who are sort of they're, they're reasonably comfortable with just the idea of, of of coding and computer protocols and all that kind of stuff you know th that's sort of the de facto place where where we would often go and it sort of it has extended beyond beyond that. Instead of just editing a bit of HTML or CSS there just to tweak a website or to uh, to add a text piece or anything like that, it's sort of ex extended into word processing. If I have uh, a schedule, minutes, agendas, all that kind of stuff that I've got to type up, I often find myself just, just opening up a text editor rather than a full-blown word processor. Uh, and it almost seems instinctive. It almost seems, well, I'm doing a pretty mundane task i only require a, a simple application to do to do the job and it almost seems to have, have, have gone down that path and that my workflow has has become a lot more direct and i really kind of like ha what this has done because when you open up just something like LibreOffice and you start you know performing a word processing task your brain and yourself which is presumably attached to said brain have to make a lot of decisions and some of these decisions are conscious some of these decisions are unconscious some of these decisions are going to be what font you're going to be using what spacing you're going to be using what your style of your headers is going to be uh what how you're going to save the document does it have to be in a dot doc does it have to be in a dot doc x does it have to be in a otf different uh, institutions different companies are going to have different requirements some are going to have house guides and, and that takes a few of the decisions out of the process but Ultimately, your brain has to deal with a million and one different parameters when working with rich text as opposed to working with plain. When you're working with plain text, all you've got to do is open up a window and start typing. You get to focus essentially 100% on what it is that you're trying to say rather than how it is being presented. And as a freelancer, I come across a, a lot of people who focus so much more on style over substance because when you're a freelancer, you're, you're effectively a one-person company. And a lot of freelancers will uh, will go through a lot of effort to make themselves and make their setup, and make their, their their organization, their company, their product, their brand, whatever it is, uh, look really polished, look really professional, look really slick, look like they've been in business for 20 years, and then sort of not focus so much on the substantive elements behind that. And that, to me, is, is an observation as to why so many startup businesses struggle in their first year i say struggle pretty much 90 percent of them fail within their first year and a lot of it is is down to uh, inexperienced decision making um and it's these things that they're very difficult to teach impossible to teach I'm, I'm i'm almost certain that anyone that would have worked out how to teach these kind of experiences to people would be making a heck of a lot of money or at least have a significantly decent youtube channel anyway that being said i have noticed that when word processing in plain text a million and one decisions have 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 been uh, have been made for you. Um, have you know they've been not even made for you. They've been taken out of the equation. What font do you want your document to be seen in? It doesn't matter. It's up to the decision of the person reading it, and the chances are they'll probably be happy with the default. Most of the time, the default is good enough, and it's only when you kind of want to make you know yourself or your institution or your little piece of work, uh, you know appear to be some cherished little snowflake is, is, is when these kind of superficial factors actually come into play. But when we're looking at what it is that we're trying to say, the substantive elements of the projects or whatever it is that we're managing, plain text does the job. It does the job and it, and it, it does what it needs to and only really that. 
when working in plain text. And when you look at uh, applications like Kate or Gedit, they're pretty full featured when it comes to text editors. Um, you can they even come with spell checks, which is pretty fantastic. So when editing in plain text, not only have you got the spell check, which to me I think is a pretty uh, it's an essential for word processing. I'm not the most I'm not the best speller in the world, and it, and it, and, it, and it really helps. But other than that, that's really all you need. You don't need to worry about stylizing your titles. You don't really need to worry about text spacing and, and all of that. It just it just lets you lets you focus on the content, and that's really all um, all that's necessary. Same deal with email as well. Do people really care that you've got a nice little fancy logo at the bottom of your email, or that, or or, or, or the little Twitter logo? Oh, they can follow you on Twitter. They know because you've got that little blue logo down there. No one cares, and and and. To be honest, people probably care less for the, the annoying fluff that goes around so much stuff these days. And I think minimalism is really going to make a comeback. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Is that in a lot of cases, you don't need that cannon to kill a mosquito. And, you know, we do, we do live in this world where there seems to be a snake oil salesman on every corner. Willing to dangle the latest and greatest shiniest object right in front of you, hoping that you'll unquestionably pounce on it. It might come in the form of a new version of Windows. It might come in the form of the, a brilliant new feature as part of a word processor. But whatever it is, it's always questioning whether or not an additional complication, an additional factor, an additional step in a process is actually going to make that process easier. Because in my experience, generally speaking, and there are many exceptions to it, when you add more and more elements to just about anything, it becomes more complicated and ergo more susceptible to a problem or more susceptible to incompatibility. I mean, there are a million and one different file formats you can save. And yes, by all admission, LibreOffice, OpenOffice, Microsoft Office can pretty much open most of them. It's still a problem I still come across on a pretty weekly almost basis where someone has, you know, cannot open this Word document or something. Someone comes across a problem that we should really have already solved and it would have already been solved had we have accepted that, that a lot of the complications we have are just as a result of the bells and whistles that we don't need. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on the process. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. You guys are always really good with this kind of stuff. Um, but I often feel that with plain text, it removes a lot of the decisions um, that don't really need to be made. You know, no one really cares that much at the end of the day about things like line spacing and things like what your font is and, um, and all that kind of stuff. A file, plain text, can be read by just about any computer on the planet. And keeping it plain text as well actually has additional benefits because it means that because the text is in such a raw and sort of unformatted uh, format, uh, it makes it easier for um, for like screen readers and blind people to, to, to read it as well. Um, and um, and it makes it easier to distribute across the internet. It keeps the file size smaller. There's a number there's a number of reasons why keeping something simple is the best way to do it. Just ask the people who you know who, who are involved with Arch Linux. They love keeping it simple, and uh, it seems to have worked out pretty well for them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that with you. Thank you very much for listening. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. And uh, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.